Afternoon white tea, PC. Another cup of tea, and two mug. Raining, so hopefully it won't disturb the sound too much. Just got back from woods, it was lovely down there, raining, leaf, rain falling through the leaves. And, and there's no such thing as bad weather, is there? Just wrong clothes, what the great Billy Connolly once said. Now, before I start with what I've got to do, just a quick one. Uh, there's an email knocking about. Uh, I know a few guys have received it. So I was on a Zoom call last night with Mike, Old Man Things, and Pipe Ninja, Cliff. And we were chatting away, and Cliff just mentioned, Is that, have you, there's, there's an email knocking about. And I was like, whoa, I got one today. Um, and he's aware of two guys that have got it. So, Cliff's got it, I've got it. These are the two guys who've got it. And it's from a subscriber. Very nicely written. Loves the channel. And he's requesting, he's told us a bit what he used to do as a kid about baseball cards and You don't get anything if you don't ask. But the email that I've got is exactly the same as what Pipe Ninja's got and exactly the same as the other two gentlemen I'm aware of have got. And all he's done is changed the name and copy and pasted it. So potentially, it might be completely innocent. But he's putting it in a very nice way. Would you send me a pipe? I'd love to have one of your pipes. Doesn't matter which pipe, old and dusty. And he would pay for postage if so required. Could be a genuine email. But what I'm saying is just be careful with things online. I'm sure you all are, but you can easily get caught out. So that's that bit. Got that bit out of the way. If you do get that email, you know roughly what it says in it baseball cards and autographs and I love your channel that's it so first thing now you might be aware I got three cob pipes and two packets of tobacco from Missouri Mission company now these are my cob pipes that's the countryman country gentleman sorry that's the Rob Roy and that's the legend. So I've started working on them. Took the stems out. So I've just put them in the microwave for 30 seconds and the glue warms up and you can pull the stem out and I'll be putting some pipe mortar in the bottom and cutting the stems so you don't get that woody flavor. So I'm working on them. So, thank you, Welshy. Top man. So the mystery the mystery guy was Mr. Welsh Pipe, a blessing. Absolute gentleman and the star is in his knee. Right, the next thing is, my son went to Tenerife. So I said to him, when you're over there, sort of some backyard lad, you can bring back five, uh, 250 grams each. So he was with his girlfriend, so 500 grams. And I'd spoken to a few guys, do you know what tobacco you can get out in Tenerife? And uh, Yanez, Pipe and Tobacco, had said I mean, about Condo. I'm not particularly fond on Condo because of the, it's got that, I'm, uh, the Lakeland essence. It just hangs in my mouth. I can smoke it, but it's not my go to. So, anyway, but it's dirt cheap. It's dirt cheap out there. So, he went to a couple of tobacconists and he rang me. I said, what, what they got, lad? What they got? So it was Condo, St. Bruno, Gold Block, and Amphora. And that was basically, I mean, I was hoping for like, you know, they'd have Peterson's or and Salani and whatever, but they didn't. And he tried three different tobacconists and it was all pretty much the same thing. So I was like, nah, don't, don't bother that. And then he went, oh, I found a cigar shop. Now I didn't want to, 
waste his time on holidays there with his partner. He don't want to be trawling around tobacconists and I don't want to be saying what what cigars they got. No, 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 no. Now you can bring back 50 cigars each. But it wasn't about that. It was, it was. However, what he did find was this stuff. Now, I don't know what it is. It could be scrapings off the floor. But I had a bit of a Google and got back to him and said, yeah, go and get me some. And I can't, it is. La, that's it, sorry. I tried to remember then because it's covered up with stupid sticker that I'll hopefully be able to get off with an air dry. But it's La Excepcion Habana. And the reviews that I've seen are pretty damn good. So, we're going to open it up and have a gander. I do potentially want to keep this. Uh... We'll get that bad boy out eh? I do potentially want to keep this packaging. So we'll try and open it. Now I believe it's cigar tobacco. We'll find out, won't we? And we'll open it together. So it's a 500 gram block. La Excepcion Habana. Well, like I said, the reviews that I've read. I get my little plastic plate. That's it. 500 grams, half a kilo. And we've got. Very dry. We'll just get a bit out and then we can have a look. And we'll chuck some in a pan. Upside down, ain't it? <sighs> My camera works a bit dodgy. I'm up here and down here, aren't I? I'll be getting told off by uh, people. All right, so really dry. It smells amazing. Just pure tobacco, cigar. Chuck it in my Peterson. In fact, look for me a little pick here. Uh, for me a little shamrock. I'm sure there was something else I needed to say today, but I can't remember what. I think that might be it. But I think, I mean, it is super dry, right? I don't know how old it is. It's just in a paper and foil packaging. <laughs> very, very creamy. Damn fine pepper down the nose. Oh, that's nice. With a good whiskey. Maybe a brandy.
Well, I wish I could do a review like Matchbox. Right. Creaminess. Pepper. Stunning. Strong. Pepper on the tongue. Chocolate, dark chocolate. Not an all day smoke. He's gone cold. Oh, that is good. Yeah, yeah, you could have that with a rich dark coffee as well. And I think if you had a many the black coffee, but I, I think if you had a super strength coffee with cream in it, let me screw down the tap down. Stunning. Stunning. Right, we're at 13 minutes. For a fact, there's not many reviews online. There was a guy from America who somebody had fetched some of it back from Mexico for him. That's it. Don't want to spill any. Last. Aye. La Excepcion Habana. That's that stuff. Nice. Right, guys. That's me. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend. <clears throat> Look after your families. Watch out for that email. <laughs>